Korean YouTuber who is joining us live here on India Today. Hi, uh, thank you very much for speaking to India Today. We see you're quite terrified and shocked with that video uh, where two bike-borne men stop by, try to pull your hand, get uncomfortably close. Would you want to narrate what exactly happened? Uh, yeah, um, hi, uh, my name is Yuho Zhang Wu Park and yes. I'm a live streamer during my travel. And two days ago, around 11.50 p.m., I was heading back to my hotel around the car road area. And there was a two guys who were standing. And they, uh, they uh, when I was heading, walking towards my hotel, they yelled at me that, oh, I love you. I, those kind of thing is like pretty happen often if you're live streaming because you have a camera and as a tourist, you're showing around. Some of people showing the engagement for the communication. So I was walking towards my hotel and I said, oh, yeah, love you back. And then they just started to come. And the one of the guy, he pulled my shoulder and tried to kiss me for the first one time. And I felt very uncomfortable and I was pretty shocked. I thought that, okay, I have to leave this situation. Uh, so I tried my best not to escalate the situation and try to leave. At that, and then he tried to, he grabbed my wrist and dragged me to his motorcycle. And he told me that he want, he want to ride me to the home. And I don't feel comfortable at all to share my address. I, I just wanted to escape the situation. So I was like, no, it's okay. I'm wearing dress. Because I cannot say aggressively, I, what if I, I really don't want you to escalate the situation as a solo female traveler. So, but, and then he grabbed my shoulder again and tried to kiss me again. At that point, I felt very, very, okay, this could turn into a very serious situation. So I just try to tell him that, okay, I don't want this. I don't, I just want to leave this situation. And I walked very fast towards my hotel and then to, uh, they were following me with their motorcycle and asked me my phone number and they will take me the ride. Yeah, and luckily there was a one, um, my viewer of my live streaming at that time, he was yeah. watching my uh, broadcast and he actually, came out from the bar because he was near here and he saved me. You know, yeah, it's shocking for us. It's shocking. It's surely shocking. And that area where you were, where you were at, Car in Mumbai, is quite a populated area. Did anyone at that point try to come and help you out? Did they see that you were struggling with these two men? Did someone come for your safety? Yeah, actually, I heard that Car area is very uh, safe to go out as a female there's a lot of pub bar nice restaurant mm -hmm. to go out so i didn't really think that this will uh turn into this type of incident yeah you know, uh, we're really sorry. Uh, we know you're a tourist. You uh, were expecting a lot more from the country, but the, the situation that we see that you have experienced is uh, certainly not isolated. There are instances like this that happen, um, and we're glad that you're safe at this point. At uh, what hour of the night did this happen? And when you tried to shrug off, uh, how far did these two men follow you? Uh, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. What, hear what time of the night did this happen? What time was it when this incident took place? 11, around 11:50 p.m. Okay, and, and there were a lot of people around. Did anyone come for your rescue? Actually, there was a quite a lot of not a lot. Some of people hanging on the street. Okay, but. Um, yeah, there was not a, there's no one help me on the street beside the one guy who were watching my stream because mm -hmm. he knew that this situation could turn into very serious. Mm -hmm. So he immediately came out from the bar and he helped me out to, yeah, he told them to just go away. And you know, I ran into my hotel after that. All right. We're really glad you're safe, but I'd like to ask you, would you want to consider filing a police complaint? Because we heard the police say that you're 
uh, quite disturbed and not, not in a position or a state of mind to come and file a formal complaint. Would you want to take this up legally? Actually, I am planning to visit the police station soon because I got the call yesterday, no, this early morning around 2 a.m. that they got arrested and they want to send me female police officer so that I, they can make the statement, but I was not feeling well, I was sick, and I was sleeping, so I told them, can I do it tomorrow morning, which is today. Maybe after this interview, I'm going to go to the police station. Sure, you must, because uh, these, you know, these kind of people shouldn't be let off easy. Uh, thankfully, you managed to escape. Your friend came by right in time and took you away, but we can only wonder what, how, at, to what extent these men could have gone. Uh, were they really following you wherever you were moving and how long did this whole incident take place? Uh, from the time they spotted you until they followed you and then you managed to escape from them, how long was this terrifying ordeal for you? Well, they were following the motorcycle and they are asking me to give my number. Mm -hmm. And I gave the fake number, which is not my number, because I, I felt that if the best way to escape or leave the situation is tell them just give what they want which is the number but I didn't give my real number and um, I don't really want to say that this will this has the potential to turn into very bad incident yeah. I don't want to well, well it does uh, I mean we, we've got to expect the worst uh, we, we can't take something like this lightly and this shouldn't be happening uh, but my only question here, yeah, my only question here at this point is, uh, d did you uh, did you feel threatened, uh, you know, to an extent where you wanted to visit the police station immediately while you were walking on the road? Were there people around? Did they follow you until your hotel? Uh, how how did you get rid of them? Uh, I didn't understand your question. How, how did you manage to get rid of them? You said that they were following you. How did you manage yes, to escape from one, them? There was a one viewer who are watching my stream. Yeah, yeah, I the heard time. that, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Right, I heard that. Your your friend came by. One of your uh, followers on uh, YouTube came by and and took you away. But did that mm -hmm. follower, your friend, argue with these men, or did you escape? Did you run away, or was there a confrontation with these men? Uh, he. I, I didn't exactly what he said because they were talking in Hindu, Hindi. Mm -hmm. but the, my, one of my viewers told them to do something in Hindi and they were just going. And, but they were on the motorcycle and so I just wait a little bit in front of, with him outside and I told him that okay I'm just gonna run into my hotel because they were on a motorcycle. And, I'm still not sure whether they really left or not, so I, yeah, I just ran to the hotel, that's what I've done.